Well, hello there everyone. Welcome back to the last video of 2021. <laughs> Crazy, right? It's already 2022. I'm not ready for this. But anyway, I digress. Given it's the new year, I wanted to try something a little bit different. So just watch me as I freestyle this voiceover. To begin, I'm looking for one I am very excited today because I can finally talk through what I'm doing experiment wise. First of all, cute note. So this is a very typical sorting experiment and we're just trying to scan for bubbles here. This is a very exciting new machine that I recently learned how to use. The sorted cells were bright in droplets of sheath fluid on their way to the sort collection tube. And how they are sorted basically works like flow cytometry as you can see from the histograms here. And the white dot, as you'll see blinking over there, they are the floating cells. Yeah, it's amazing to look at them. I'm not looking for as the time of filming, it was shortly before Christmas, so we had lab stockings for everyone, which is pretty cool. And we have a white Christmas. I don't know if I feel happy about it, but it is what it is. It's winter and it snows in Wisconsin, and roads get slippery as shit. Sorry, pardon my French. Anyway, wanted to talk about another big accomplishment of my 2021. I finally get into a normal routine of finding and securing therapy. Certainly not a smooth process, as you can tell from the recording right here. I was trying to call different sources, different insurances to try to figure out if I can get free sessions as a student, which luckily I was able to. But it is certainly difficult as it is and it shouldn't be like that i hope everyone can find the help that they need and it will only look up from here so you get up and you leave but i don't want to see what you open to like the renegade life but i don't yeah. i don't i don't yeah because it's just i don't, I don't know because it it definitely has to do with the fact that my family is not here so i have like self-reliance to the extreme if you will and that extends to other aspects of my life as well and it took a lot of people uh to make me realize that you know it's okay to let them um take over some aspects to help me with achieving a good balance um and it's like you always you just cannot do it on your own a lot of the times anyway a very productive session later we went back to work i had some meetings at home we we're going over this molecule that i study which if you really look at it actually looks like a wreath which is pretty awesome Start your computations.
Huh. Anyway, voice over me back yet again to talk about possibly the best accomplishment this year, which is building my first PC. I kid you not, I have never seen so many components of the one thing. And luckily, I have a software engineer boyfriend, and he's been instrumental in helping me build this thing up. Do it like this. I'm just scared to break it like this. Can you? Can I have never built a PC before. Can you at least like... It legit took me more than half an hour just to get the case is ready and its components. This entire time, my boyfriend was on Discord with me, coaching me through every single step and laughing in my face every single step. I had never considered a PC as something essential for my grad school career, but after I've gotten it for a few months now, I can literally tell you that it made a difference in my life. Although I will probably forever be an Apple girl, I still think that it's incredibly helpful to run, for example, Visual Studio or other tech-heavy programs on a PC. It truly, truly made my life so much better. Apologies for the awkward cutaway, but I just wanted to take a brief mindfulness break. So a lot has happened since that last clip. I actually found out I had a broken motherboard. It has been broken before I even installed it. So a lesson for future PC builders, do not buy your MOBO used. It's just impossible. But anyway, I'm doing some Tai Chi here. This year, I've made it one of my missions to make mindfulness a key part of my life. And although I wouldn't say that I completely succeeded at it, it definitely helped a lot in some of the most difficult times of my life this year. Coupled with like the pandemic, it's, it's always nice to have a time set aside to truly be still or slow instead of going with the flow of the general public or like the general frenzy. And I truly recommend it to everyone. And I intend on doing the same in 2022. You are feeling more relaxed. You are feeling that release. It's a few days later, I got a new motherboard and we can finally finish this PC. I actually had gotten quite confident about it since I started building it, but it's always a nerve-wracking process trying to turn it on for the first time. As you can see here, I'm trying real hard to wiggle all the cables and stuff and ended up having to move it to the other side. And my boyfriend was on Discord with his friend playing games as he was coaching me. So you're gonna hear some very weird noises from him. What do you see on the screen? It's, no, what do you see on the screen? It's it's installing now. 
it's not installing yet. It's the installer. You just click on next until you're happy with it. Oh boy. Look at my pimple patch. Nice. I would be lying if I said I did not tear up just a little bit as I saw the windows getting installed. <laughs> Truly, I have never done such a thing in my life and it felt so great. And do you want to know what I did after that? Writing my final Ed Law essay. So this is my last class of the semester and I'm finishing up with a think piece on a topic of interest for the business tour class that I was taking. It felt great working on the PC that I built myself with my law school classes. And that brings us to today. I was flying from Milwaukee to Los Angeles to spend the holidays with my boyfriend. And little did I know, oh, it could be this beautiful at night. As we close out this video, just wanted to say thank you for an amazing year on YouTube. I am literally sitting here right now um, editing this video and can help but reminisce. Food. <laughs> this bowl is so good. And the KBBQ that I got to eat. The Nep Cafe. My boyfriend's belated birthday. And the escape room. There's so many wonderful memories and I can't wait to make more. Happy New Year to you. See you next week. <laughs>